Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Crystal. Today I'm going to show you, um, I decided to come back live one more time. So this is a live video if you're watching it back. Um, I decided to show you this project that I'm making right here. Um, my daughter's friend's birthday is uh, tomorrow, so my daughter wanted me to make these for her friend. So I'm just trying to load this so I can see you guys. Okay, so I made these for my girls for Valentine's Day. So my daughter wanted me to make this for her friend for her birthday. So I guess she's having a quinceanera this weekend. And so what you do is you're going to take a Coke of choice, a water, you know, tea, whatever you want to use. So her favorite drink is Pepsi. And then you want to get candy. Her favorite candy is Twix. And you want to get the bigger bag. And um, you can do the same concept with the, the little tiny Snickers or the little tiny um, um, Milky Way or anything like that. Hi, Guadalupe. Okay, so yes, candy and soda. So we have, you get your favorite soda, you're gonna get your favorite candy, then you're gonna need a foam ball. So I buy these at Walmart. They come two in a pack for about three something. So you just need the one. So what you're gonna do, so we want to, and I've got my glue gun already heated up. So all you need is glue gun, foam ball, candy, soda. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the cap off of my drink, so that way I know what size I need. And as usual, I forget stuff. So I'm gonna use this chocolate I have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my soda and I'm going to use the chalk just to kind of mark around this a little bit to kind of show where I need to cut. And I'm actually going to cut a little bit in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a knife here and very carefully carve out this circle. You just want to take out enough to where your soda thing is going to go right inside the lid. So hopefully you guys can see this. Okay. So let's see if that's going to work. So then I set it on top. So what I'll do is at the remaining, I'm just going to kind of twist it on the lid a little bit to, just to make sure that it's going to be on there. Um, hi, B. Thank you so much. Okay, so what we're going to do now is you want to now super glue this. We're just going to use the hot glue and it'll pop right off. So when they're ready to pull it off, they can pull and it'll come right off. So we're just gluing this on the very top of this lid. So as you can see, the lid just kind of sets down in there just like this. So hopefully you guys can see that. So that's how it's going to be. So what I'm going to do, and like I said, I make these for my daughters for Valentine's Day. And my daughter's like, I want you to make that. So and it's super cheap. So I mean, this gift is less than, say, $10 to make. So we're just getting glue on there. Then I'm just going to stick my foam ball on and just kind of hold down really good, making sure it's going to stick. So we'll let that dry for just a second. I'm trying to see where you guys can see everything really good. So make sure you guys can see what I glue these can. So that seems like it's in place really good. And sometimes, last time when I made these, one of them, like it got a little bit, bit heavy and I had to re-glue. So let me scoot that back towards you. I'm just trying to figure out where... I think I had decided I wanted it here. Let me double check. Try to make sure it's in the right place before I start gluing everywhere. Okay. So I'm going to open our candy. And this would be awesome for a Christmas gift too. So if you're needing a quick Christmas gift, this would be good. And then when you got the different Christmas colors, you can make them go around. So let's see. I want to make sure. So maybe if I move it down just here just a little bit. Let me make sure. I'm bringing it in just a little bit closer. So give me just a minute, guys. I want to make sure you all can see everything. I want to make sure you can see the top. Okay, I think y'all can see that pretty good. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come work on the other side so that way I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so our hot glue is ready to go. And all we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of glue to the back of this and just stick it on. And we're just going to work all the way around and keep coming up. So here we go. Watch out, Sassy. Stir that meat real quick. I'm doing this while I'm cooking dinner, but I thought, I, wanted to, I thought this would be something that was good to share. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue on the back of this candy and I'm just going to start right here at the bottom. So just hold it down and actually I'm going to pull that back off. So I started last time. I want to make sure it's going to hide my thing. Maybe right in here. All right so let me do that again. So we're just going to add glue to the back of the candy and I'm just adding it right here to the top of this piece. The piece that you tear off and I'm just going to move this up a little bit. Because if you can, if you need to go backwards, you can always go backwards. So I'm just holding that on there for just a second. 
And what I did when I did the Twix, I actually think I moved over like this. So when you come back up here, this fills in this gap. So that's how I did it last time. But when you do the Snickers and stuff, you wanna do them right next to each other. So I need to come back at another time and show y'all guys that. But I remember um, my girls made me these whenever they were in um, Head Start. They made them for Christmas and they like put, the, you could do bubble gum. So the ones that have the little twisty ties and put the bubble gum all over. And I remember when I was a kid, somebody, because we all rode a bus, somebody on our bus stop, their mom made our bus driver one, and that's the first time I ever seen it, and I, thought, I just thought it was the coolest thing. So you're just going to continue to keep building this up. So I'm going to keep going around so I don't make it top heavy. So I'm just adding, let me see if I can show you all this. I'm just adding the glue to the back, to the top here. And like I said, I'm just skipping a spot. and let's see and then we're going to hey sas go get my pillow off the couch i did earlier i want to show you all something i put it in the update in the description so you guys know remember how at the end of the video i told you guys that i accidentally messed up and did not get um these pieces out like this spot right here the winner and the part on the e all i did was stuck the iron back on there just for a few seconds and they peeled right off here sas Take this back in there, please. So that's just a tip. It, and yes, I did had to, I had to work at it just a little bit, but um, and heated it up a couple times to get it all off, but it did come off smoothly and didn't tear nothing up. So okay. somebody was trying to call. So just in case y'all lost me for a second, so I'm just continuing to work my way around here. And it comes together pretty quickly. So, just working all the way around. We add another one in the middle. And I'm hoping that I'm going to have enough of these. All right, skipping. That's my oven preheating over there. Just in case you guys are wondering, I am making enchiladas. I'm originally from New Mexico, so I'm making green chili enchiladas. I told my daughter, I said, you, what do you want for dinner? Because she didn't feel good. And I said, anything but chicken fried steak, because chicken fried steak's up here. Hi, Amanda. Okay, I'll FaceTime you here in just a little bit. Um, are you talking about like these squares right here as space? So on this mat right here, this is the, um, the Ulfa mat. So these squares right here, so you would have, um, this one right, so this whole square would make a 10 by 10. And then if you break it down, it would actually make the five by five squares. And then it also has your, um, 90 degree and 60 degree angles on here as well. Um, yes, sir. <laughs> They are super cute. I know maybe you need to show the grandkids and be like, this is what I need. So I'm making sure we're back in frame here. All right, and I'm just continuing to work around. And so let's see. Oh, and also let me tell you, I'll show a picture. Um, I need to add it in the, I'll try to add it in the front of this video when I'm done, the ones I made for um, for um, Valentine's Day because I actually took on the Coke bottle where it says Pepsi right here and I actually tore it off very carefully at the end here and then I came and cut a little heart out and I put glitter, um, glitter tape behind that so I had like a cute little heart cut out. And I was thinking if you very carefully pull this off, you could actually cut like happy birthday out with a cricket and then uh, carefully put it back. So let's see. You're super welcome. I hope that answered your uh, question. Okay. So we are going to. Oh, 15. Okay, we'll see here in just a little bit. I don't know since I already got started. She was wanting me to put a 15 on it for her birthday, but 
um, since we got started. I may be able, to, I may cut something out with my Cricut, like a little gift tag or something. So I'm just skipping here. If you see, and I kind of put that one next to each other over there. Oh, on the design space grid. Okay, hold on. Wait, let me see. Yeah, that's it. That's okay. Let's see. No, that's all right. I can answer it. Let's see. Uh, let me go back and read it again. Um, let's see. But those little squares on the grid, what is it as far as space? So do you mean, um, so on the grid, so say this just a minute and I'm going to show you in just a second. Let me finish this out and I definitely will show you that. So that way we can, so stick with me. And as soon as we get done with this, I'm going to walk you through that. Oop. So now I'm just kind of skipping up. You're super welcome. I'm glad that you cleared that up because I thought you were talking about this mount down here. Let's see. So I'm just continuing to hold these down as I'm gluing them around. And just kind of clean, take it up any little space that I see. Okay. Yes, you will be able to remove the lid. And you can actually, when you're done with this, um, when they're ready, if they'll actually just pull on it because it's hot glue with the plastic, um, when they kind of pull on it, it'll actually just pull the ball right off. So it'll pull the whole ball off. So my girls, when they had, I dropped them off at the school at the front desk for Valentine's and they just pulled their whole top off and then just had their drink all day, which you can just pop that lid right back out of there since it's um, foam because uh, the hot glue doesn't stick um, extremely well with it. It's able to uh, basically undo that. I basically just burnt myself. Okay, let's see here. So I'm just continuing add these on here and I'll be able to go back and fill in let me kind of pull I'm getting a lot of glue stuck on myself let's see okay my favorite ones too are the little because you know with the little miniature um, snickers and stuff those are my absolute favorite I think they look the best let's see you're super welcome thank you for being here okay so and like I said, it's a cheap and easy gift. It does not take, so if you forget someone's birthday, you can literally put something together like this really fast and it it looks like you went and bought it from a little boutique or something. Um, and this would be another thing too, if you guys, if anybody's looking for ideas to sell them on like their local um, swap sites or anything like that, um, as like, you know, birthday gifts or anything like that, that's a good thing too. And let's see. And see, and I actually had a bow last time and I stuck like one of those little uh, twisty bows on top. So you can do that. That's right. I love that. Cheap, easy, and cute. Kind of crafty. Yes, it is. And then it makes you want to eat it. Yes, you can. See, and I actually went to the Christmas off first because her favorite candy is Twix. And I wanted to get um, the Christmas ones of these for the candy, but they did not have the Twix available yet. Um, that's what I did. When I did it for Valentine's Day, I did it the cute Valentine's color, so they were pink and stuff and had the hearts all over it. It was adorable. Like I said, I'm definitely going to add a picture. I'm going to try to do maybe as a front so you guys can see the ones I made for my girls for Valentine's. But I didn't even think about showing you guys this. And then my daughter today was like, can you make that for my friend? see and another thing too because if you go after christmas and get the candy where it's 75 percent off and then make some um you know last minute, minute gifts or something like that or you could do that as well because i know our halloween candy it was strange we had candy that was just regular packages like this for halloween that was marked down and they don't say anything on them so you could put them up for these projects but this would be good for a teacher gift. If you're looking for a teacher gift for uh, Christmas, um, this would or, or the first day of school, this would be a great gift. I know if I was a teacher, I would be more than happy to... Uh... By the way, I think... So my sister is Amanda Luna, just in case you guys see those messages coming across. I kind of think it might be my... 
niece or nephew. So, let's see. We'll see if she'll answer that here in just a second. So now that I'm getting to the top, you see how that's just kind of sticking up? I'm just continuing to build these at the top. Okay. Uh, you're super welcome. Yeah, because you know, sometimes, like I said, even for teachers and stuff, you're looking for like a last minute gift or your neighbor, somebody at church. Who doesn't love candy and a Coke? And like I said, <laughs> hey, if somebody's on a diet, you could get half water, half candy. I'm just saying. You could also maybe even get those hundred, those little candy bars that are like the hundred calories or whatever. Little Moo Cow candies, you know what I'm talking about? Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like this and then um, I may have to go to the store and get like a little bow or something to put on top here. So let me try to lean it to the side. This is what it's looking like. Isn't that cute? So you can kind of turn it here and look for any white gaps. Like these bottom, you're not gonna see that. But if you see any on the side, like this right here, I need to add one in there. And it's our last one, so hopefully it's our only gap. So all you gotta do is lift right here and you just pop it right down in there, just like so. And I'll kind of bring it up just enough to fully cover that. So there it is. And I can see I've got one right here, but what I'll probably do is undo this one, just like this. See, just pop it right off. And I'll actually bring it up just a little bit more. So I'm gonna, once again, I'm just gonna lift these and just bring it right up under here. That way I could cover that more. So there you go. Thank you guys so much. Isn't that cute? But like I said, I love the little miniature candies too. They are really, really cute. So you don't have to do them this long, just the little miniature square ones. Those are way cuter. So there it is. Isn't it adorable? And like I said, I took um, that and peeled it back and cut a heart out and underneath I stuck some of that uh, glitter duct tape on the bottle and then you could see it's shining through. It came out really cute. But there it is. Thank you, Anna. Is that our Annie? Thank you guys so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Let me see if I can't bring this down just a little bit so you guys can maybe see it a little better standing up. So there it is. So see, isn't that cute? And then you can just put like a little bow on top. You can either, you can either put those little curly cues and you can make them like I showed you before. Um, and uh, there's something, or, and you could add little ribbons or you could just tie a little bow or something like that. So that's what I'm gonna do for this one. Let's see. Okay, so just, so the E is silent, so and, right? Okay, so now let me go back and let me address B. Are you still here, B? I'm going to walk you through how, what we're talking about on Design Space. While I'm waiting for you to answer, I'm going to go open Design Space. Okay. Let's go to Design Space and I'm going to, okay, yes, okay, I'm going to the Design Space. And then I'm gonna put my computer here so you can see it. Let me move our little candy guy. We're gonna set it next to our laptop. All right, let's go to design. Let's see. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if this will let me zoom in a little bit, like so. Okay, let's go to a new project. Okay, so I'm gonna come peek over here and see if you, if we got anything else. Okay, so now with the mat, so like these squares right here, and actually let me pick it up and bring it in just a little bit more so we can see. Let me move that over. Okay, so are you talking about these squares right here? Let me go read your comment one more time to make sure I'm gonna get this right. Let's see. How those little squares when they get, what is it as far as space? Okay. So mine looks smaller. Okay, so what it is, if you need to make yours, it's somewhere over here. Let me play with it for just a second. Okay, right here. Let me show you. Oh, that's too much. Hold on, let me zoom back out. Let me zoom back out. Nope, there we go, okay. Now let me see if I can show you guys. Okay, right here, hopefully you'll be able to see it. 
right here. So right here where you have one, two, three, one, two, three, this very teensy tiny square that first starts out, if you click it, it'll go white. If you click it again, it'll bring all the squares up like I have. And if you click it again, it'll have no squares. And if you click it again, like I said, it goes white. So try clicking that little square up there and see if that's what your problem is. Let me try to bring my camera down like this. I want to make sure that you're seeing this right. Let me try to zoom in here. Okay. This teensy tiny square that's right here. So that tiny little square. So once you click that. Okay, trying to space words on a t-shirt and didn't know how the squares were. Yes. So what you would do is. So let me show. Okay, so this tiny little square you're going to have all all white squares the tiny little squares so don't worry about the teensy tiny little squares only worry about like the one you know two the whole squares and this is how i do that when i'm doing a t-shirt so um go to template which is right here that the, that t-shirt and then scroll down let's see until i see classic t-shirt right i'm going to click on it and right up here, it'll let you pick the size. So say we're working with a men's short sleeve and you were doing a small, right? This is what you're talking about. You have the tiny little squares, right? So if you click on, let's see if we click on that again. Right. Okay. So that's what you're talking about. So when the template comes up, I guess that's all that it's giving you. So, um, I never even really kind of thought about that before. You want to space the words? Okay, let me let me type something out so we can see a little bit more. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, well, so I don't know how to space the words. Okay, to space the words. Okay, so if you were doing something like this, so just welcome. I'm gonna walk you. There's gonna be a couple things, so just bear with me. So if you were just writing it like this, like one word, then below it another word. Okay, so say that you wanted to do it like this. I would hit enter, and then I would hit home. So you would have it come down. So you can have it like that. Or if you want it separated, let me do another one. I'm gonna move this up here, hold on. So bear with me. Just make sure you're getting this correct. Let me zoom out, okay. So like I said, if you, let me do that one more time. Let me delete that. Okay, so if you come to text and say I wrote welcome, and now I want a second line, I would hit enter, and then I would write here. And now if I wanted to, um, to align those, I would come up here to align and I would say center. And now you see how here is in center. And now if I want my line to go down a little bit, right here it says line spacing. You can hit the up arrow, I believe, and it will make it space out. Yeah, so let me walk you through that one more time. So hit text and say we wrote welcome. I hit enter and then I wrote home. And then, or, let's see, okay. So we have the welcome home, we'd come back up here to align. You can either align left, align right, or center. And like I said, now if you want more of a gap in between that, all you need to do is go to line spacing and hit your arrow up, and line spacing is right here. So you just keep hitting your arrow up, or you could type in a number and just kind of see. So say I need it, so I'm gonna put in a five, that's gonna give me more of a space. Now, I think the little squares is one inch is what those are. So if I zoom in here, these little squares, I think each one represents an inch is what I think it would be. One, two, yep, yeah, that would be right. When it is 1.2, then. Yeah, well, yeah, it's going to space it, yes. So like up here, it would actually, I don't know, I don't think it would space it out five inches, not where it says up here where like on the line spacing, um, I'm not too sure if that would be because right now this is only two points. Let me zoom in. It's only 2.84 tall. So I think it's just maybe moving it by like millimeters or centimeters. But like I can see since the whole thing, it's probably like a half an inch apart like that. So I think, like I said, since this is 2.843, each of these tiny little squares represents an inch. So yes. So you would have, this would be one inch, two inches, two and a half, basically almost three inches tall. So that's what those, that's where it just shrinks it down. So now let me show you another way to, like if you were going to separate it. So let me move those down. So if I hit text, I could do welcome. I would just 
you know, just use the welcome. I put it up here. And then I would grab another text and say I did home. Enter. Grab. Oops. I keep wanting to grab everything else. Grab home and just that way I can put it wherever I wanted to. So you would separate them like that. So you just come in and do two different texts, if that makes sense. So let me come back over here and make sure. Let's see. Let me see what questions I have. Let's see. Um, let's see. Okay, so does that make sense? Did that help out? Is that what you were needing to know? You're super welcome. Did you have any other questions with the design space? You're, yeah, you're super helpful. Anytime. It doesn't matter what video I'm doing. If you need, if you have a question about anything, you feel free to ask. Yes, okay. So just let me know. And if you have any questions, uh, just leave it down in the comment of this video and I'll come back and get them. So if that's it, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and I'm going to show you guys. You're super welcome. Thank you for asking. Let me zoom back out. And I'm going to show you this one more time. So there is our cute little Pepsi for our birthday girl. So there we go. And like I said, I've got, well, that's actually from the bottom, so you shouldn't see it. So I think I should be, I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm just going to add like a little bow on top. So I hope, I hope you guys found this helpful. You're super welcome. Okay. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and the like button down below, and I will see you on the next one.